up guys it's your girl selena marie and i'm back with another video if you're new to the channel go ahead hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell at the same damn time because i would love to have you now today's video guys is going to be about six to nine and i have a video that's going viral about him sitting there snitching on everybody so i'm anxious to hear it i haven't watched it i haven't even heard a piece of it yet so without further ado y'all let's get right into this video mr treyway huh Uh, D A N I E L space H E R N A N D E Z. All right, good afternoon. Speaks. I'll ask you to keep your voice up and speak slowly and distinctly for the benefit of everybody in this large courtroom. Counsel, you may inquire. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Fernandez. Hey. Mr. Fernandez, how old are you? 23. You're older. You go by any other names? Yes. What are those? Uh, Takashi, uh, Takashi Six Nine, um, Pix. Yeah. Mr. Fernandez, where were you born? Uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. How far did you go in school? <sighs> About the tenth, eleventh uh, grade or so, like that. What? Mr. Hernandez, are you currently in federal custody? Whoa. Yes, sir. Approximately when did you start living in federal custody? Uh, about no, uh, November 18, 2018. What were you arrested for? Uh, racketeering charges, um, you know, uh, violent crime, shootings, uh, drug distribution. At some point, did you decide to cooperate with the government? Yes. When did that happen? Uh, a day after, um, November 19th, the day after uh, we, we were taken. So y'all heard that. They asked him, have you decided to cooperate with the government? He said yes. When? Soon as the day he got locked up. That man agreed to talk to the police and, and snitch on everybody the moment he was in handcuffs, y'all. Let me rewind that back. That's the only time I would rewind that back. Yes. When did that happen? How long? Distribution. At some point, did you decide to cooperate with the government? Yes. When did that happen? Uh, a day after, um, November 19th, the day after uh, we, we was taken down. In connection with your cooperation, have you pleaded guilty to certain crimes? Yes. What crimes did you plead guilty to? Um, I believe it was uh, nine counts of racketeering, um, shootings, uh, and, and drug distribution. Now, you listed racketeering as one of the crimes to which you pleaded guilty. Were you a member of any gang? Yes, sir. What was the name of the gang that you were a member of? Uh, the Nantre Bloods, Nantre Blood. Approximately when did you become a member? Uh, around, uh, I would say November of 2017. What sorts of things did nine trade members do? I'm sorry? What sorts of things did nine trade members do? Uh, we participated in a lot of, uh, you know, violent crimes, um, robberies, assaults, uh, drugs, sorts of that nature. Mr. Hernandez, do you recognize anyone in the courtroom who was a member of nine trade when you were a member? Yes. Who do you recognize? And if you, if you can identify that person, uh, you identify where they're sitting in an article of clothing that that person may be wearing. Uh, Hall, Anthony Ellison has a gray suit on. Um, uh, and uh, Nuke Ajumai Mack has the brown suit on. Wow. The white thing on his head. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the uh, witness has identified Mr. Mack and Mr. Ellison? Yes, the record reflects that Mr. Um, um, Hernandez, in sequence, uh, uh, identified uh, Mr. Ellison and then Mr. Mack. Thank you, Your Honor. <coughs> now, Mr. Hernandez, we'll turn back to Nine Trey in a minute. Before we do, I'd like to ask you some questions about your life before Nine Trey. Where'd you grow up? 
uh, was raised and lived in uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. Where'd you go to school? Um, for elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, for middle school, I went to Wamaro Campos. For elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, middle school, Wamaro Campos. And uh, high school, for the time being, went to Legacy High School. Legacy. Yeah, Legacy High School. Did you work? Yes. What'd you do? Uh, I started working at the, I want to say the age of 13. Uh, my first job was at uh, the Greenpoint Youth Court. It's a job that handles like misdemeanor cases for youth, um, where the youth acts in like a bailiff, judge, jury, youth advocate, community advocate type of thing. I did that about for two months. I'm not, uh, Mr. Hernandez, I'm gonna cut you off. I think you are uh, speaking so close to the mic that you're blurring some of your words. Maybe move back a tiny bit to the mic and keep your voice up and keep speaking slowly. Thank you. Uh, so I did that for about a year. Uh, I didn't make a lot of money doing that, so I started working with my brother. Uh, busting tables. I did that for about a year and a half. Then uh, I landed a job at a grocery store named Stay Fresh and Grill where I worked as a delivery boy. I did that uh, about for two years. Uh, I worked up to register. Shortly after that, uh, I landed another busboy job. And then after that, became a rapper. So you said that you started a music career, is that right? Yes. Approximately when did that happen? I'd say around uh, 2014. Uh, and, and how did it come about? Well, at the, at the store I was working in, um, Stay Fresh and Grow. Um, there was a guy under the name Peter Rogers, always, always come in there, buy a tea and like a tilapia, some peanuts, stuff like that. He asked me if, uh, if, I, if I made music and if I rapped. Uh, and I was like, no. And he was like, well, you know, got the image for it, you look, you look cool. I was like, you know, I took it into consideration and we started making music um, from, the, from the deli. And, and again, this is around 2014? Yes, sir. Like late 2014, like September. So when you started making music in around 2014, what type of music were you making? It was more of a, like a rock and roll uh, rap. Approximately how many records or songs did you release? Uh, eight, I believe. I believe around eight. Did you go on any tours? Yeah. Where did you go? Uh, Eastern Europe. Um, I toured in uh, Bratislava, Slovakia. Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, Prague, Czech Republic. Brno. Brno, Czech Republic. Uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. And uh, Moscow. Were you making any money at this time as a as a, as a metal rap performer? Um, I mean, for all those shows, I made about like two thousand dollars profit. I, I did it just for the experience. Now, Mr. Hernandez, did there come a time when the type of music that you recorded changed? Yes. Approximately, when did that happen? Uh, around uh, it, it changed in September of 2017. Uh, uh, directing your attention to September 2017, did there come a time when you filmed a music video in Brooklyn? Yes, sir. Where in Brooklyn? Uh, Bethany Stuyvesant, uh, Brooklyn, um, on Madison between uh, Tompkins Avenue and Troop. Do you remember the address? I believe I want to say it's 370 Madison. 370? 
Ms. Harney, can we please pull up for the witness what's been marked for identification as Government Exhibit 202? This shit right off crazy. Mr. Hernandez, do you see Government Exhibit 202? Yes. What is that? 370 Madison. Is that a photograph of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. Does it fairly accurately depict the way 370 Madison looked? Yes, sir. Do you want to government office of Government Exhibit 202? Any objection? None, Your Honor. No, no objection. Received. May we publish it, Your Honor? Yes. Did you film the music video in, in front of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. What was the name of that song? Gummo. Gummo. G U M M O. This morning we can take down 202. Fire. Mr. Hernandez, how did the filming of Gummo come about? Um, around August of 2017, uh, I, made, I made the song. Okay, y'all, that was part one of his court day. That was day one, part one of him testifying in court. And so that was kind of like boring to me, but I guess he started off. He already pointing out people in the audience, like telling them like, yeah, he's in the gang. He's in the gang. We was robbing people. We was doing a lot of crimes. We was selling drugs. We was doing et cetera, et cetera. His career is over. Like, his career is over. I don't think nobody will ever work with him again. But I'm going to try to stay on track with this, you know, whole Takashi 69 thing. So tell me what you guys think about it in the comments section. Leave a big fat like if you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell at the same damn time. Because I would love to have you. I love you, Lloyd Squad.